the Aura and ET16 Plus R scanners from Caesar. These are scanners, but they offer features that you won't see on other typical scanners. So stick around to the end of this video and I will demonstrate these features and talk about why these scanners are basically game changers for anyone who scans books or documents on a regular basis. In this video, I'm going to really quickly kind of just introduce these scanners. I'm going to show the hardware it comes with, demonstrate the scanning, and then also demonstrate the software and how everything works. So obviously flatbed scanners have been around for a while, but these scanners from Caesar are designed to be just a lot faster and easier to use. And with the software that they come with, it's also a lot easier to make batch edits on the resulting images. So opening these boxes, we can see the hardware it comes with. Both the Aura and the ET16 come with a manual, they come with a power cable, they come with a foot pedal so that you can use your hands to hold down a book and use your feet to take a picture. They come with a black mat to provide a background for the papers or book that you put on top. And then they come with these nifty little finger press things that will help you flatten a paper or a book as much as possible. So both scanners come with some extra LED lights as well to assure that you can get the most optimal lighting. The ET16 also comes with a finger press button if that's easier for you to use. Both scanners have a very high quality camera and LEDs for lighting the paper and both scanners have an LCD screen on top so that you can make sure that your content will fit under the scanner. All right, so let's talk about the scanning for a bit. So the setup, it's really simple. You just plug it into power, you insert the additional LEDs, and then you plug in the foot pedal and roll out the mat. So you can use the USB cable to plug this into your computer. The hardware on each scanner is slightly different. The Aura has a knob to turn on and off for adjusting the brightness. There's also a button on the back of the additional LEDs for turning on and off. The ET16 has buttons on the front that allow you to do different features. The foot pedals work just like you would expect it to. You press the pedal once and it will take a picture. Let's have a look at the software right now. It can be downloaded from caesar.com. To use the software, you must enter the serial number that is found on the device itself, and the software is available for both Windows and Mac computers. Once you open the software, it shows you a guide to line up the book and then you can start scanning. You can either choose to scan a single page or you can scan dual facing pages. The software actually does a really good job of recognizing the boundaries of the book automatically. So you can use the yellow tabs to help you take better scans. I found that for a magazine, they were good to kind of stretch the pages out. And then for a book, it was just good to hold the pages down. When you scan the pages, the software creates a folder that's arranged by date and it puts all of the images in that same folder. So if you're not actually ready to work on these images at that time that you scan, you can always go back later and import all of the images. One of the nicest things about the software is it has these batch mode settings. So there's a color mode that gives you different options. Like if you want to do B color, black and white or grayscale or something like that, you can also do batch rotating of the photos if you need to. I really think that the batch cropping of the photos is really easy. You can actually preview different pages to make sure that your crop is not going to cut off anything that you need. On the Aura, there's a batch setting called quality. And I think the name should probably be something else like lighting or contrast because that's basically what it does. And this is a great for adjusting the contrast of the lightness and black. That way you can come up with a final result that's just straight up black text and a white background. And then the standardized setting allows you to change the pages settings to a certain dimension and DPI. So this is nice for doing things like say converting a small page or a book into an A4 size. And this would allow you to print pages from a standard printer. And then the rename and print settings 
are exactly what you would expect them to be. I will note that while I've been showing mainly the software for the Aura, the ET16 software is not the same, but they do have basically identical functionality. They just mostly have a different layout. Once you've made the batch changes that you want to on the images, the last thing you will end up doing is exporting your document. And the software has a handful of exporting options. The ones I mostly care about are exporting to PDF with OCR or optical character recognition or a Word document with OCR. So if you do PDF with OCR, what it basically does is it retains the image as you take a scan of it, but it will place kind of this invisible text on top of the image so that you can still do a text search and you can still copy the text from the PDF and paste it into a different document. If you export to Word, the images and formatting are not going to be exact like what you get on the scan, like if you're doing a PDF, but it will try to line everything up as accurately as possible. And I feel like it does a fairly good job. It kind of just depends on the document. So overall, I felt that the software does do a good job with OCR and it can even match up some of the fonts, which is really cool. Of course, no OCR is perfect and it gets especially inaccurate when you're dealing with some of the more unusual fonts. So the real question is what sets these scanners apart from other scanners and why should you get one of these Caesar scanners? So I think the coolest technology with these scanners is that it actually uses lasers to measure the curvature of the page and it will automatically flatten out these pages so that they appear to be straight. You can see in this example, I'm kind of intentionally letting the pages have a pretty pronounced curve, but after the software processes it, you can see that while a little curve is still there, it's now mostly flat. And not only that, but you can manually edit the curves if you need the lines to be even more flat. Another really huge advantage with these scanners is speed. You can see in this example, I've set the software to auto scan. So the laser is going to go off and it scans the page. I then go ahead and I flip the page and just wait for it to scan again. And this process takes about seven seconds. So in total, that's four pages in seven seconds. So that is 1.75 seconds per page. You can also manually use the foot pedal and flip the pages even faster if you want to increase the speed. So Caesar claims a speed of about 1.5 pages per second, and this is definitely much faster than a traditional flatbed scanner. Other than speed and accuracy, some nice benefits of these scanners is just how portable they are, especially the Aura. These scanners are also great if you have items that are larger than would fit on a traditional scanner. Another really cool feature that I like is the finger thingies that they give you. It seems to just magically disappear from the scan once you are done scanning. That's pretty cool. I want to thank Caesar for sending me these scanners to try out. I've really had a ton of fun just scanning books and documents and everything that I've needed to scan. And it's really cool to see how technology is evolving, especially with scanners. I've used flatbed scanners forever. And while they work really great for some things, they definitely don't work great for books. That's where these Caesar scanners really shine. And as far as the differences between these two scanners, I really like the speed and the quality of the ET16. And then I love the portability of the Aura. I certainly don't think these scanners are for everyone. And it might be a bit of overkill for people who only scan maybe one or two documents a month. But if you scan on a regular or a daily basis, these scanners save a lot of time and headache. And if you ever plan on scanning an entire book, I think it'd be kind of crazy not to get one of these scanners. You can check out the current prices and specs at Amazon. I've got some affiliate links posted below. If you have any questions about these scanners, feel free to write a comment. I will answer your question the best I can. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Or you could just 
smile and say hi to someone today. That would be pretty cool too.